in the House. Question number three, the Honourable Anna King. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health. What impact would a tighter funding path for district health boards in 2015-16 have on their ability to provide quality, safe and timely services? <coughs> Mr Speaker. Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Mr Speaker, it's a hypothetical question because, of course, DHBs will be getting more money in the budget, as they always have. But the member will just have to contain her excitement until the 21st of May. What I can say is that despite tight financial times, this government has always made funding health its top spending priority every year. Supplementary, Supplementary question. question, the Honourable Annette King. Would a tighter funding path, as stated in the Cabinet paper he took to Cabinet, cabinet in December, lead to cuts in service, delays in service or mounting deficits in DHBs? The Honourable Dr Jonathan well, Coleman. Mr Speaker, that uh, paper that Annette King refers to actually never was considered by Cabinet. But what I can say is that we will be putting more money into health. But what we won't be doing, we won't be doubling the health budget as Annette King did and at the same time delivering 2,000 fewer surgeries a year and sending 761 people to Australia for cancer treatment. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, the Honourable um, Annette King. Bearing in mind it's 10 years since I was the Minister. Order, just ask. Um, which, 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 what, do, do reports, do report, ten, ten order, years. Order, order, order. Get a new order. report. <laughs> order, that's an example whereby if the, minister, if the member would just ask her question rather than the introduction at the start, it would help her and I contain order in this I House. I agree, Mr Speaker. <laughs> do do listen up. Do reports, do reports of mounting deficits in DHBs for the 2015-16 financial year reflect a funding allocation of 250 million, as recommended by Treasury, or 320 million, as recommended by him. Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Mr Speaker, what I can say on the matter of deficits is that when Annette King was Minister... Order, order. Answer the question. I can have the question repeated well, if that well, would be of okay. assistance. Well, what I can say is, look, the member is wrong on both counts. She has no idea what's in the budget, but it'll be a nice surprise for her. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Honourable Annette King. If there is sufficient funding for DHBs for 2015-16, and they're going to get a nice surprise, why did the Chair of Tai Rafati say just three weeks ago, quote, we have used all the fat in the system, we are really stretched, we can't sustain this pressure with a 1.5 million deficit looming? Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Mr Speaker, Mr David Scott never says things like that, and I know that he's very happy with the $27 million extra that Tairawhiti DHB has received under this government, the nine extra dollars, the 50 more nurses, the 1,721 patients extra treated there than under Mrs King. David Scott is very happy, and I know because he tells me. Uh, point of order, Mr Speaker. Uh, now, point Mr. of order. Mr Speaker, yep, order. I... I, I'm asking your help in this. The minister just said that the chair of the DHB did not say that. I can table the order, evidence in order, the press release. Order. That's not the approach you must take at raising a point of order. The member certainly made a statement. Effectively, the minister gave an alternative view uh, alleged to the same man. If the member thinks that there's been uh, a misleading of the House, she knows the appropriate course of action, and it's certainly not via point of order. Uh, but point of order, Mr Speaker. Uh, the action I'd like to take is to table the report from the chair of the DHB, which is reported order. in the Gisborne Herald. Order. If the member's seeking leave to table something in the, in the Gisborne Herald, I'm not, in, I'm not interested in putting it. Point of order, Mr Speaker. There order, is... order. Point of order, Mr member Speaker. will resume his seat. Now, if the member is going to relitigate the fact we're not tabling pieces of newspaper in the House, then that is something I will take a very dim view on, and she's likely to be leaving the chamber. Uh, point of order, Mr. Speaker. Fresh point of order, the Honourable Annette I would Anna like King. your advice when a minister accuses a person on this side of not telling the truth. Order. My answer. Order. Is... Order. I have a very good mind to be asking the member to leave the chamber. 
Order. I have advised the member what to do if she thinks the minister has made a statement that is factually incorrect. She knows the procedure. She's been here a very long time. She does not raise it as a point of order. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, the Honourable Annette King. Supp <laughs> Supplementary question. Otherwise, if we'll be are, moving on. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Well, there are there Order. are objections. Order. Ask the question. Yeah. If there is sufficient funding for 2015-16, why did the chair of Canterbury DHB say very recently we need more resourcing, and the current funding is not keeping up? Compounding the lack of resources will create an even bigger problem. Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Mr Speaker, what I can say to that member is that over the past six years, Canterbury has received an extra $269 million. There's an extra 143 doctors. Order. There's an extra 486 more nurses. Order. Order. I'm going to invite that question to be asked again. If there is sufficient funding for 2015-16, why did the chair of Canterbury DHB say very recently, we need more resourcing and current funding is not keeping up? Compounding the lack of resources will create even bigger problems. Honourable Dr Jonathan Carman. Mr Speaker, I've uh, talked to Mr Cleverley on many occasions and he tells me actually there's plenty of money there in that huge budget that Canterbury has and he tells me that he is determined to continue to provide excellent clinical services for the people of Canterbury. Su supplementary question. Order. Supplementary question. Is the on. Minister saying the reports from both the Chair of Tyrafferty DHB and the Chair of Canterbury DHB are incorrect, that the members did not say that and they were lying. Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Well, Mr Speaker, the last time Annette King raised a point like this in the House, she was saying that Counties Manukau DHB had a $100 million deficit. We went away and checked, and they actually had a multi-million dollar surplus. So no, I don't actually believe anything that member says, I'm afraid. I didn't say it. Was Order. That... Question number four. Order. 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 Question number four, the Right Honourable Winston 